There you go. Oh, that's a good sign. First fish of the day. We're ready for a great episode of three pound fishing. Ready? One, two, three. Didn't work. Try it again. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three. Ah, come on, man. One, one more time. Oh, you went out. One, two, three. All right, guys, you're in for a treat today. We're out here on a guide trip, and we're going to be casting at these fish all morning. We got a great, beautiful overcast day. It doesn't you can't draw it up any better? And we got friends of mine for a long time past. We got Paul. We got Dale. Okay, we got St. Louis in the house. We got Texas in the house, and that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, they're going to be uh, they're going to be kind of leading the show. We're going to see how this goes. Uh, guide trip, three pound fishing. Enjoy the day, guys. Here we go. I don't know where mine is. I think that is yours. Is that not yours? No, there's, there's, there's both lines there now. Oh, I got them both there. There they are. You got one here. Oh. Oh. oh, come on, baby. My... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Now you got a crappie. Good. Oh. All righty. There you go. Another one. There you go. Okay, so. We're using a gold head today because Matt on one of his videos said you tie that to a, a plastic. And so I did that on my home lake. And so here we are on Lake Egypt and we put that on there and we've been catching fish. Also in my, on my, at home I have this Hammer 10 as well. This is the best part right here I think because when you set that hook this grabs it. You still can feel it at the tip but you've got strength to set the hook. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I know. I know, it's hard to go, like, what's 14 feet out there? That's, well, you get to know those depths. Yeah. Mean, you start to really know. These reels are so smooth. It's just it's time, on the, it's time like, on the water. It is. It's all this. All right, eater. I think I ate that. There we go. All right, very good. We got one. There we go. I got a book. Look at that, folks. Big time amount of fish right down there. All down there near the mud. We love that right there. Wait, you finished your book? So here he comes, firing off from the bottom. Good job. There you go. Oh, fish in the boat. So Dale and Paul have been coming for probably the this is probably the third year. Third I'm gonna year. Say third year. Uh, Paul, is, Paul lives down in the uh, Texas area, Dallas, Fort Worth area, and Dale lives up near the St. Louis. Correct, Dale? Correct. Smithton, Illinois. There you go. So well, we've been friends since grade. School. Yeah, they've been grade school friends, and so this is kind of their opportunity to get together. Um, so what we're doing is we are staying about 30 feet away from the piles um, and it's a busy busy morning on the lake a lot there's a bass tournament going on uh, but beautiful day cool cool weather temperatures water temperatures sitting at 77 um, we've had a lot of rain overnight so we're getting perhaps a little finicky bite than we typically would get but we're just dropping in on these piles and they are loaded the piles are but we found and we have minnows just so those that ask we have minnows but the minnow bite is definitely not making any any change to what we're bringing into the boat. So right now, plastics has been uh, the key. So sometimes when we're out here fishing for crappie, we'll see bass busting, especially during the fall month. And uh, right Dale back. here got one, and we saw him busting. He just cast it out there and got himself a small one. They're typically small, smaller size, but a lot of fun. They are a lot of fun. It's a nice little bass. They're healthy. Look how thick he is. Mm. Good looking one. Found a monster pile here. And uh, Paul's putting another one in. I'm actually going to try a minnow. Look at this. Look at oh, that. Got one. Yeah. Maybe minnow's going to work. Look at this, how quick this guy came up. <laughs> now, 
Yeah, we have been, the right. these guys okay. have been, uh, these guys have been with me for the last day and today, obviously, and, uh, who did you get another one? Yeah, I got a hit. There you go. And minnows have not worked, but I just threw a minnow down there and got one right away. Paul's got them all over. There you go, the solid fish there, guys. That's a good fish. That was a bigger mark. Ooh! <laughs> They're all over here. All right, guys, good fish right there. Gold's unique. You don't see gold too often. And so uh, Paul had some success yesterday with the gold, so he wanted to utilize it today as well. Gold's a great color, especially on certain lakes. I always say that Wren Lake's got a period of time every year that they absolutely love it. Um, but it's a new, unique, so it's a 132nd ounce. You can check it out at 3poundfishing.com. We're using the Comet uh, for braid. That's a 10 pound H strand. It's got that new fiber technology. It's a great braid, highly recommend that. And the hammer, of course. The hammer is um, just a fantastic 10 footer. So one of the things we talk about on guide trips a lot is settings on LiveScope. Everybody's curious about what the settings are. They love a clear picture. So Paul wanted to know what my settings were so we'll walk through that real quick so number one first thing i always do let's just do it right now just to prove the point that you can always go to your sonar defaults that's here let me go right back here where am i at sonar installation restore sonar defaults anytime i'm in question of whether or not uh, i have a bad picture or not i restore my sonar defaults with no fear okay guys that's how your units are going to come to you um, and what I do is it's naturally gonna to go to the forward view because of the position of the transducer. I will come in here and I will, first thing I will do is I will change my noise reject to high. That is number one. Number two is I'm gonna turn my TVG to low, okay? And I've still got this grid. So I'm gonna look, go find my grid. I always forget where it's at. Layout, I think it might be grid overlay. I'm gonna take my grid off, okay? So that is my setup right now. Now I'm gonna take everything out of auto. I want my forward view back in manual and all you have to do is change it it'll stay at 30 now i'm going to change my down my depth to out of auto it's always at 25 on my home lake and i'm going to identify what it's it is seeing my gain should be at it's saying it should be around 65 64 right now it's automatically choosing that for me so i'm just going to go ahead and leave it at 65. that's the picture now and that is how I work my, anytime I have question of whether or not I'm getting the best picture, that is the picture you guys will see on three pound fishing. He's hooking up a uh, minnow right now and he's going through chin, through the nostril without piercing the brain. That's the key right there guys on a minnow. They're more active that way. Yep. So, and we prefer small minnows actually, not large minnows. The perfect size minnow. All right. Good fish, man. Not a crappie. So we revert, we've, we've gone to the, the float. Dale's got probably the best fish of the day, close to it. It's a nice one. All right there, guys, that's how it's done. Now we're doing old school. We got the, we got the float. Very happy with that one. Right there. That's a nice one. Right there. I'll take it. And then we Thank got, you. and then not to be outdone, Paul not says. Not to be outdone. <laughs> Paul says, uh, oh, oh, professional. professional release. <laughs> Mm. Off he goes. All right, we're mixing it up. Floats, everything. They just caught a good fish for him right today. That's probably the biggest one he's got today. Yeah, that's a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish, though. Under a float. Under yes. A float. So he's sporting that, that flat bill, too. I love it. That's an awesome hat. That's an awesome hat. Three pound fishing. Yep, there you go. Good deal. Middles, guys, use an angle, my small angle cooler with this lithium bubbler. You cannot go get any better than that lithium battery. You can always re recharge, you don't have to buy new batteries. Love it with the Walmart net, that's, that's key. Okay. Ooh, baby. Another nice one. Oh, that's a solid fish right there. There goes the spit shot. That might be the best fish. Beautiful. Another beautiful fish. Wow, that's a good fish there. Right? Awesome. Good. Another one back home. Yeah. Not everybody keeps their fish. They kept fish yesterday, to be fair. And uh, they've got, I guess, a long drive, right? You drive, you drive it, right? Well, so two, hours. Hours. Two, two hours. Two hours. Two hours. And then you fly. Fly back to Texas. Yeah. Check out that power out there, guys. So if you guys are interested in a guide trip, um, I always say uh, 
for numbers wise, November uh, through January through March is just fantastic. Uh, you can send me an email at threepoundfishing at gmail.com um, or call at 618-694-5162 or text. Um, most importantly, just give me some dates. We look at the schedule and we figure it out. But definitely they are filling up in the, in the fall time. It's a very popular time. And uh, we'll put a lot of fish in the boat. All right, guys, we're ending the trip. Paul put in a good fish here yeah, to there end it. Go. Look at that guy. Right there, yeah, very good. Very Had a successful good. day on the water. All black crappie here on the lake. And uh, Paul wants to give a special snap goodbye to you. See if it works this time, Paul. All right, are we ready? <laughs> you do it. One second here, right here.